Hey guys, it's Whiny Waylord here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Reboard with Sean. Last time, we just kind of explored aimlessly. It was a good time. We almost lost to an, to an NPC trainer. Today, uh, we're exploring this kind of steam cave. Where are we? Chrysolia Spring, 1-4. Wouldn't be surprised if this is like a... Uh... Like, if Volcanian were to be available and to have a spot in the game, like, this would be Definitely. probably his spot. Yeah. Um, so oh. I feel like we did that, like... Yeah, we definitely did that before. I thought maybe it would take us somewhere new. All right, we're going back down, I guess. Um... Ooh. I think some of these geysers might just be here for like aesthetics and it's like confusing me. Yeah. Slushy, we gotta talk about something. I, I, I've got nothing, dude. <laughs> Let's see, you've been playing Renegade Platinum, right? Yeah. I forgot if we talked about that on here yet. I'm almost certain we have. <laughs> Shit. I, well, I beat Luigi's Mansion 3 recently. It was cool. Oh, like, how recently? Uh, a couple days ago, I, I finished it. Nice. I know you've been meaning to finish it, too. Oh, there, there's an exit over there, by the way. I don't know if you see that. Yeah. How did you like it? I liked it quite a bit actually. I just kept pushing it off when I bought it when like when it came out. I think it came out in like Halloween of 2019. That sounds familiar. Yeah, so I've had it for a while. And uh yeah, I liked it. It's a little I don't know. <laughs> One of my first thoughts about it is just that you can suck up like almost everything in every room, so I spent a lot of time just sucking up random bullshit off the shelves and like you can suck up towels, you can suck up things that are on shelves. And just kind of for the aesthetic, I'm assuming. Or just for fun. Just for fun, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, ba barely ever do you get something for sucking up, like, the random props in the room. But then you can also, like, interact with a bunch of stuff in each room, and you find secret stuff like money and gems. I guess that's cool, yeah. One thing that was kind of annoying was, just like in the first game, there's, like, booze you can catch. And Right. They're not required, so you would think there'd be like some kind of reward for getting them all, right? I think I actually don't remember what the reward is for doing. Oh yeah, in, in the first game, you get like a pretty big reward for getting all of them. You get like fifty thousand or fifty million money. Right. Uh, in the third game, as far as I can tell, there is literally no reward for getting all the booze. I got them all, and unless the ending was slightly different, like I saw, I saw nothing. Um, that kind of sucks. So. In the first game, you can uh, unlock a reverse mode, right? Yeah. How, how, how do you do that again? You, I think you just have to beat the game and you unlock like the hidden mansion. Okay. And did they kind of mirror that in the second and third game? Not that I've seen in the third game, no. Okay. I th okay, we're going to bring that boulder somewhere. That's the, that's the plan. This lone boulder. The third game kind of brought back the portrait ghosts, which was cool. Hmm. From the first game, they're like, they just have more personality than, uh, I guess. Actually, no, the, the second game just didn't have, like, very many bosses in general. Right. I mean, it was a 3DS game, right? Yeah. One thing with the... Oh, maybe... Can we just push it down there? Probably not. That's not how that works, I'm guessing. Um, let's see. Where are we trying to bring this boulder right now? We can we can put it here. Oh, we have to think like where's it gonna take us. I'm guessing it will raise that one there, and I guess that doesn't get us anything. Well, if you put it on the one right there, then we can go to another level and see if there's something up there. It's really all we got going right now, I think. Oh, maybe this no. Well, no. 
Because because you have to think like we're trying to get to probably another level if we're gonna get anything out of this. Uh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> is it like specifically in the water? Okay, whatever. Wow. Got him. Uh. Yeah, like you can't. Actually, you you could get a boulder up there. Okay. I don't know. Like I kind of I want to try experimenting with the boulder, but then like I don't see like any benefit to uh to pushing the boulder on any of these here. Wait. Uh, you do see what I see though, right there, right? Uh, right here. Like, like we where you can get basically like the tier three guys there by pushing it onto that one right below us. Want to try that? Yeah. Okay. Synchronizing my my strength pushes with the whoops in the song. Oh. Okay, now we have to go around. Yeah. I keep thinking like right here that looks like an like an NPC with blue hair who's like looking up at us. <laughs> oh, that's that would be some shitty blue hair. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just me. That was some real shitty blue hair. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm trying to figure out how you can go around. Uh, I yeah. Think, oh, well, hold on. Ball. Even if we do that, it gets stuck in a corner, I'm pretty sure. Wait, wait. Let's assess the. Uh, so I can push it up. Uh, right? Yeah, I think you're right. There has to be a way to get it on there, though. Yeah. With a different. Or approach. maybe, or maybe we do the inverse. Or maybe we do. Oh. Okay, so, so hear me out. We do the inverse where we push it onto the big geyser and maybe makes a tier three geyser on the other side if we can get it onto that one. Okay, so we're gonna push the boulder onto this guy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, have to, I have to reset the room somehow. Um. Unless I can like push the boulder all the way back, but that doesn't sound fun. No. Mm, no I, think you can go, I think you can go all the way down and then go up and then come back down. Yeah, like that. I also think you just re-enter from right there. Yeah, that's like the exit to like oh, the, the Oh, that's room. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we should have at least reset the room by doing that. Oh, there are there are more boulders up here. I wonder if we're like supposed to drop more down. I don't think we can though, because they're like stuck against these walls. I think a lot of the yeah. paths are cut off. Like it looks like we should be able to, but Okay. I hope this is at least slightly interesting. <laughs> uh, down and then, yeah. And then we have to go around somehow. But this has the same problem where it's going to get stuck in a corner, right? I think you're right. Well, shit. I think you're right. So, hold on though, because remember how we can push stuff using the water? What if we try and line it up against the water somehow? Like over there to the left? Yeah. I don't think we can push it that far because, like, we can't get it off. Like, once we push it down here. Like it's it's stuck like on that row. You could say, oh, I guess unless I like do this. Okay, maybe we can do something with it down here. Okay. We, oh, we can bring it all the way down here. Oh, yeah, I think that's the next thing we have to do. Okay. Okay, that's annoying. Well, we found that out by accident, but let's see if we can get it done here. <laughs> this is something. Yeah. No! What have I done? Well. I have ruined everything. Us. We'll be right back. <laughs> this is... <laughs> uh, Sean, what are you doing? I'm doing it. Are you? Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you are, yeah. I think, I, th I think I've said this before. I love the audacity of Pokemon Reborn. How it will just make you do stuff like this sometimes. 
So in other words, you like being tortured. Okay. <laughs> Duly noted. If that's the phrase. We did it. So this is new, I think. Just immediately hop back down. No, let's go down. Uh, we have a new boulder here we can use. I'm going to avoid touching it for now. Probably smart. Okay, we have two uh, geysers down there. Item finder. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have to move that boulder somehow. We have to move that man. Um, we can go around. Yeah. Oh, there's two boulders. Oh, wait. That boulder on the left is not accessible. Right. All right. Um, left or right, right. Oh, I guess it's straightforward enough. Yeah, it's not too bad as long as I'm careful. I think yeah, that's the idea right around. there. Yeah. So I didn't have the right idea, but I it it led to you getting the right idea. So I guess good enough. Here we go. Progress. It's happening. We have that boulder there that we'll have to use for something. <laughs> Seems like it's pretty far away from anything. Yeah. I'm hoping. Hoping that's just there for fun. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not there. It's probably not there for fun. I love this. Um... <laughs> Jesus. This is, this is, this is very involved. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the most ridiculous things in this game. The chest thing was pretty bad. Um, the, the, the route one puzzles with the Tauros and the, and the Bufalon. That was pretty bad, dude. Um, even as recently as the, uh, as recently as the water plant, that was, uh, that wasn't a bit much, but definitely like, made that dungeon like 20 minutes longer than it probably would have been otherwise yeah one thing that would be really nice is just i think a light platinum is the rom hack where you can just like you get a key item that lets you surf and then once you have that um you can just walk onto water essentially like there is no text that you have to confirm it oh wow so what are you saying, Pokemon Reborn should have that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Have you gotten a chance to play any of your Rugrats games? Um, yeah. Well, remember, I, I beat the one for the GameCube and then the one for, uh, the one i think both of them for the nintendo 64 just ended up not working so oh it's right i remember at least one didn't work that sucks that that shop gave you two bad cartridges yeah it was rather inexpensive though um so like it's not the worst thing in the world but they also give you a bad controller now that i'm remembering oh yeah but okay that i was at least able to switch out though and like get a working one but God, dude, that that was almost two months ago, dude. Like at the beginning of July, that would have been two months ago. Yeah, that was when Slash was visiting me. We visited a, a store together. We did. Thick steam fills the sauna. Oh, okay. Uh, you might want to save. I wonder if this is a situation where um, where you can have a Pokemon like in battle affect the the overworld. We might want to. Oh, maybe. We might want to let. Uh, the repel wear off so we can do some encounters. Maybe we, there's like a wild Pokemon that can do defog. Okay, well, I. Well, I can, what do we do here? I, I can kind of see what's going on here. Oh, there, there are geysers. Yeah, I see boulders and I see geysers. I don't know where this item's supposed to be. There we go. It looks like there's two boulders right here. Yeah. There are. I don't know why there's two. It's kind of concerning. Okay, we can probably you probably need both because we probably want one tier three geyser. 
Oh yeah, there's there's three geysers in this room. Okay, you're right. Oh, okay, I might just let the steam do its thing because it's not really impeding our progress right now. Is it, yeah. is this good viewing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, I can see what's going on. I'm just kind of kind of got to look hard a little bit, but there we go. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, okay, right there. Ooh, a TM scald. Flame charge. Yeah, it's called would have been cool. Alright, I want to look carefully in here before I... So I think there's a hole right here. There is. But I think we got everything in this room already. It's pretty small. Okay, I think we're free to go. Yeah, now we're just back here. All that for okay. flame charge? Man. Wait, is there a way to reset this room to see if the other geysers lead you anywhere else? I don't think there's any way to cover this geyser right here. Oh, oh! I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right, we can see now. Wow, that was underwhelming to say the least. At least we found something. I hear you. This is what happens oh. when you take off repels. <laughs> Immediate just disappointment. He's ashamed. Look at his face. I don't understand his face. It's like, yeah, I exist. I don't really know why. He kind of he kind of looks like he's doing. Did I do that? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, just very awkward. Uh, all right. What else can we try doing now? <laughs> is is that it? Is, is it just flame charge? I would like to think not. See, there's this bolt right here, but like, what could you possibly do with it? Yeah, I don't know. It, you... It's because it can't go over water, right? So I'll try it, but. There's a hole up there that I'm now seeing. Or what is that? Oh, that looks kind of weird. It's not like mounted to the ground. Wait. I don't know what that shit is. Can we flood this floor with water? I wonder if that's the idea. Did we try this already? I'm almost certain we did. So this, did, did we turn this one into like a tier three geyser though? Uh, I I can't call it. I think we did, but if you want to try it again, then go for it. Actually, I'm almost certain we did, but... Yeah, I feel like we did too. Yeah. Although, like, the process for doing that is, like, pretty convoluted, and now I'm thinking I don't remember doing that. All right, go for it. Wait, no. Oh, God. I almost made a mistake. Almost made a boo-boo, but we're good. Almost made a big mistake. Okay. All right. Let's Hopefully see what this does. something new. This looks new. Yeah. All right. We're yeah, good. This is new. God, we are burning through repels. We sure are. I feel like we're going to find a starter in here. What starter do you think we're going to find? Um. Mm. <laughs> Level I mean, if, it, if we had to find a starter, it would probably be. Huh, I don't know. I don't know what starter would fit a location like this. Maybe it doesn't have to fit. It's yeah, Totodile was in like <clears throat> that ice cave. Yeah. Uh. I would say, let's see, Gen 6. It could be Froki. I don't know. I suppose. Yeah, yeah Froki would be the most realistic. I can't imagine Oshawott or Piplup in here. We already got Piplup, so. Oh, that is true, too. Yeah. Item finder. I guess it's that really? rock right there. There's a lot of boulders over here. What? I've been cheated and lied to. 
we're not stuck here. We can like go down that slope right there, but I'm trying to be thorough. Oh, I see you now. Okay, so we can drop down there. I just want to make sure if there's any way we can get a boulder onto either of those geysers, we should try it. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, uh, you just, uh... I think I may have screwed it up by pushing this boulder down, but I'm not entirely sure. That boulder's stuck, that one's stuck right there. These two are stuck. So it'd have to be one of these two on the right. But then, yeah. once we push it out, like, here, then it's stuck. Pretty sure. I want to reset, if possible. Yeah, reset the room. I wonder uh, if saving and closing resets the, resets the room. Oh, that's a good idea. That would be handy. I suspect it won't work just because, I don't know, people could, like, softlock themselves that way. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if soft luck is the right term. I always get them mixed up. Okay, well, maybe we're just supposed to go down that hole. Actually, no, that's right. We can go over here. So there's no way to, like, reset the room quickly, so we'll just have to go down here. Fuck. Yeah, we've been here before. Okay. Uh. No, I should have gone down the hole. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we have to do all that again. Do we? Yeah, you're right. Fuck. Okay, we're back. So now... We have to figure out some way... to get a boulder onto one of those... I guess it has to be like that geyser specifically. Like right... here. Yeah. And it has to be like one of these four down here. Ugh. I'm looking at it. Um... So we can push this boulder to the left. I think that's something we'll have to do. Yeah. Yeah, I think we, I think we do two lefts here. If that makes sense to you. I think we push this one to the left. Hold on. And then we push the other one. Oh wait. No, that's good. Wait. Now, before we push that boulder down, we're gonna push that one that way. I'm just now noticing how fucked surfing is with this music. Okay, now we we cannot push it to the right. <laughs> that would be bad. So we, we we have to push it to the left. So we're going like around now. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, during our little break, I streamed like the entirety of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Oh, he he did, he did do that. Yeah, that was my blind playthrough. It was very enjoyable. Yeah. It's really good. It's like just really enjoyable, I think. Um, I feel like you've definitely, like, it's funny. Like, as years go on, you just get further and further away from games that, like, could potentially frustrate you from, like, a mechanical standpoint but you don't mind games that frustrate you from like a thinking standpoint if that makes sense i think i see what you mean like puzzly games are more palatable once you're older yeah like i can't remember the last time you've picked up a platformer that you didn't already like know how to play you know very good Yeah, I would definitely recommend the Ace Attorney games. They're on Switch. There's like the the bundle you can get for the trilogy. Wait, it's on Switch? Yeah. That's dope. Oh boy. Wait, and this again? Okay. I do see an item. Uh so like we Oh yeah, so we came down a hole. Okay. So we're, we we went down just now. 
There's a staircase on both sides. I wonder if Defog is in this game. Alright, let's try and get into a wild battle, and then let's use, like, a, a flying type move. That's my, my hard read of what you have to do to get rid of it. But, like, I guess it can't just be, like, any flying type move, right? I wouldn't think so. Air Slash. Okay, we're gonna try that. Maybe it's because... There we go, finally. Mist settles in the field, okay. Uh, let's switch in Fanta Ray. The Wyvern might do it for us, actually. Okay, yeah, Air Slash, let's see. Really? That didn't do anything. Oh? Maybe there's some other move he can do? Whirlwind! Oh, there we go. Alright, just run. Okay, I, I guess. I guess? So we get out spit? There's only one way out. I did not think that would work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't need a name. Actually, putting him in our party might have been smart, actually. Oh, well. Honestly, yeah. All right, well, we can see, and that helps. <laughs> you know what You know what else might do it, though? Potentially Tailwind. Oh, true. We should, we should have tried that. Definitely. Yeah, that almost certainly works. All right, we should put our balls back on now, I guess. Aka. What the fuck? Daramaka is a distant cousin of the Fire Monkey. Mm, he's not quite as, like, just, you know, but yeah. I don't know, I've always thought Daramantan was kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Yeah, but he he's respectable, though. I respect him. Okay, well, we got the reward here. Flame Orb, which I suppose we don't have any Guts Pokemon, so we don't really have a specific use for it. It feels like there either is not a big prize here, or we just haven't like found it yet. I feel like I, I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> um, we've gone left and right with this damn boulder, so I mean, have we ever found a way to get this to, to tier three? No. Okay, let's let's try that next. So we're gonna try and cover. This guy right here, but okay, I see, I see one way we can do it. We have to bring up boulder like from this direction. Okay. Is there a boulder all the way up here? Oh my god, no! Don't tell me it's like actually this far. Oh my god! What? What? Okay, so my, my thought process, right? Keeping in mind, we're trying to cover this geyser right here. Mm -hmm. We can't just use that boulder right there and just push it, like, straight to the left. It won't work, because, like, we'll push it, like, here, and then it will get stuck in a corner. And if we, like, leave the boulder here and go around and push it down, it will still get stuck in a corner. So what we have to do is we have to push the boulder right here, go around, then start pushing the boulder up all the way through this loop, all the way through this loop until finally we can cover this guy right here. Or one of these guys. I don't know what these do, but do you see the do you see my I, thought I, process? Kind of. I would just go for it. Let's time it. Let's see how long this takes. The recording the, the recording was at fifty nine forty when I when I started. What started this uh, puzzle? Yeah. So far, it's been 15 seconds. Oh, is that just for this episode of the re entire recording? 
No, I was just saying, like, let's see how long it takes for, for us to, like, push the boulder all the way around. Oh, okay. I mean, Fanta Rays are highest level. It's kind of funny. Uh, that's not right. Oh, wait, I thought you were going to push it down that staircase, not going to lie. No. Nope. That was, like, straight up. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, I see what you're going for. Yeah. So now we the oh well. Oh well, that that's that might be a problem. Actually, no, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so functionally, what those like those like two tier guys are doing are doing right now? They're like blocking our way sometimes. Yeah. If I ever make a game, I'm gonna have puzzles like this. I'm not playing that game. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back around. <laughs> Cut. Sometimes I think to start reborn back up, and then I think about some of the stuff we went through, and I'm like, eh. it, 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 it was fun. It was fun just brainstorming with you getting through it i don't know if i want to do it again yeah i can definitely see that i'm i'm interested in playing it again once i'm done uh maybe i'll yeah. wait until like the big update they're they're working on yeah i wonder if i should cut around in this or if i should keep it all in so that they have to suffer with us um, I mean, I think there's probably value in just leaving this all in just in case someone stumbles on our videos and needs to, like, actually know how to do this. True. I'll title the video, like, Solution to uh, <laughs> Crystalia Spring Puzzle. Dude, have you noticed when you do titles like that, it actually gets the most views? Yeah, for I think Reborn? our one episode that's titled like uh, Move Tutor, like that has a bunch of views because I'm assuming yeah. people uh, people want to know where the Move Tutor is. Right, exactly. I want to be a little careful here. Okay, as long as we get it, yeah, it's fine. Uh, It, it should be fine, yeah. I'm curious what we're going to have to do, like, right here. So, like, if we push, well, if we push it up, it gets stuck. So we don't want to do that. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll push it down then. This is going to get dicey. Well, not really, but I'm going to save before I fuck it up. Wait, save file one. That's new, I think. I've never seen that before. Oh, maybe. Or maybe I just wasn't paying, paying attention, but. Okay, now we can't go that way, so we have to go this way. Bring it around town. You're right. This this is basically that that gift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're so close. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to fuck it up by accident, but I think we have it. You saved, so yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, I think I think yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you do that you do okay, that. We'll, we'll we'll do it this way. Yeah. I better get a Vulcanian for this. <laughs> Okay, so far, no Vulcanian. <laughs> and then there's just even more audacity when, like, you do a big puzzle, then it's like, there is no reward room. Not yet. You gotta do more puzzles first. Okay, well, this looks a little more straightforward, at least. Yeah. So it looks like we're taking that boulder. 
We're pushing it through here and probably onto that geyser right there. Yeah. Okay. This doesn't look as bad. Uh, it looks like a lot more just hopping on and off, sir. But yeah, that might be it for today's episode. Next time, Pokemon Reborn. Um, if we don't get anything cool for this, I might die. 